was um, uh, Sullivan's or and um, Mini Eugen's. It, they were carpenters. Why? Um, just ar around 1916, um, Mini Eugen got married to a, um, an ex RIC man, and he ha was in the process of converting that house into a hotel. So his name was O'Donnell, so it was becoming O'Donnell's Hotel. Right, uh, my own house uh, was the, the village, he, he was a cooper by trade. So my great-grandfather was a cooper. He came to, to this house because he wanted a place for his cooperage. He made timber barrels. <coughs> so James is... <laughs> right, he's made quite a nice barrel today. <laughs> um, by the time 1916 came along, timber barrels were not in fashion. But apparently, they're back in fashion now. I was I collected this one yesterday from uh, the distillery in Dingle, and they told me this barrel would cost you 400 euros. Oh I, it, it's from. It's stored Kentucky whiskey, a bourbon, so they need it. It's their new batch of barrels behind it. They have new whiskey coming on stream. So if he wants to become a cooper now, he can be ma he can make a nice family. <laughs> but my grandfather, he learned to be a cooper. He was, he was at 20 in 1916, but there was no livelihood in cooper, so he became a publican. So it, wa it was, it, it, it enjoyed both trades. Right across the road from this was O'Donnell's. It was also a public house. And it was Mike Mains. They came from the, the other, the eastern side of, of the lake. They came from Drumabala. And they bought an interesting history about this house. They bought this house in a public auction from a guy called Bowler. <laughs> 